hands together, make some noise for your McCoy and Street's main event winner, the number 23 at Steve Eden Sr. Welcome back to SWE Racing. So we wrapped up the championship. We're taking a little bit of time off, just gathering things up, changing things out. Uh, as you can see, oh, by the way, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got the project car sitting outside. We done a little bit more work on the firewall. We got another section put in. Uh, we're getting it ready to finish up the firewall and get it over. I think we're shortening it up a little bit. I think we're going to turn it into 108 inch because it's like 110, 111 is what it is actually. So you can see where I've marked out on the frame. We're going to notch that back out. And we're going to put shorter uh, trailing arms on the rear end, moving it forward about three inches. And then we're going to take some off the back to shorten the back up. We're going to shorten the car up. We're going to get working on that pretty soon. But the reason we got it out is now that racing season's done for us and we got the truck back in this is caitlin's mom's truck it's got a 5.3 ls in it you remember me talking to you about it we're going to do an engine swap on it we got the replacement engine right over there that's going to go in it so we're going to get to work on this get it done and then we can get back on to race cars we got to get this done she needs this truck back it's been broke down for a while now so yeah, we got the old championship car back in the corner where the project car was. So we got room in the shop to get this truck done. Then once we get uh, the truck done, we're going to get the project car in here and uh, get to working on it. We're going to make some changes on this one for this year. I think we're going to go through and we're going to uh, do a couple things. I'm not sure what all we're going to do. I mean, it's a really good car the way it is, but. I think we're going to change a couple of things on it. Uh, I think we're going in and open the right side of the firewall up all the way into the driver's compartment, all the way out the back. And then we're going to uh, do a bunch of sheeting inside and sheet it off like a late model inside, uh, allowing air to flow through the bottom side of the car. We have to have the stock floor pan and we have to have a firewall, but we don't have to have a full firewall. We can have it open in the engine compartment back all the way through. And then we have to have the driver's compartment area sealed off just like a late model. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to do that. It's we went to our rules meeting. Uh, let's see. Championship night was Saturday. So the following Monday, we went to the rules meeting. A uh, few things that are changing. Uh, you know, all the Camaros had four barrels on them. Well, next year, everybody will have four barrels, including us. They're working out a penalty for the three link on this car. Uh, the four links have to weigh 34.50 now with 55 left. And they're working on where this one's going to be. They wanted it to be 35. And I tell them that's just, that's too much weight for a stock car. Uh, when I drive through you going in the corner, it's not my fault because the brakes wouldn't stop 3,500 pounds. But so I think what's going to end up happening is they're going to be allowed to be uh, 77 inches wide on a 108 inch wheelbase at 33, 3,300 with 56 left for like all the Camaros. Uh, any four links are going to have to be uh, 3,450 and they can be 77 wide unless they're a longer wheelbase, which then they're allowed uh, 78 inches wide. When I say wide, it's out, outside edge tread width on the tires, okay? And I think this one's gonna end up at 76 inches wide for a penalty. And uh, I think it's gonna, gonna be the 3450. I'm not sure yet how, how that's all gonna work out, but either way, uh, I think it's going to be uh, with 55 left instead of the 54 like we've ran all year. I don't know. We'll just see. Uh, that, uh, that Once they get the rules finalized, then we'll decide which way we're going for this. And then we're going to have the other car done. So kind of a little change on that car as well. We was going to put the 604 in it and use it for a touring car. Well, after researching a lot of the tracks... Um, 
Not a lot of the tracks allow the 604 because of the aluminum heads. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've, got, I've listed this motor up for sale, this engine. Like I said, it's a brand new motor. It's got four nights on it. Uh, we're gonna sell that. We're gonna buy another 602 like what's in there. We're gonna put the 602 in it and make it a second car for Magic or anywhere else that we wanna go because really the 604 they don't allow anywhere. So uh, kind of a bummer deal. I wanna see how fast we get with that 604, but uh, I'd rather have a good backup car as you've seen throughout this year. We had quite a few uh, little incidents that we had to fix throughout the the week to be ready for the next week and it'd just be kind of nice to not have to rush that stuff and just load the other car up and uh not have to worry about getting taken out of a championship or something if something toward the end of the year really bad happens or even in the middle or the beginning so uh, i think that's the direction we're going to go we're still going to hit some different tracks we'll take the other car this car is dialed in for magic it, it it's really good at Magic Valley. And in all actuality, the other one's going to be probably just as good, if not better, because we're going to improve on this one as well as the other one. So it's going to be 50s either way, whichever one we show up with. So I just wanted to kind of touch bases with you guys and fill you in a little bit, see what's going on. So I don't know if you guys are interested in watching a swap on this. I I'd mentioned it before. Uh, didn't get any comments about whether you wanted to see that or not so i might just do it and get it done and then we'll get back on the race cars there's the rear end the ford nine inch that goes in the other project car <coughs> we got a lot of work to do to get it cleaned up got to get a third member in it it's already got the axles and everything in it so yeah it's got all the calipers brakes everything everything for the project car i pretty much have i kind of thinking about buying another street stock and just taking the motor tranny power steering pumps and all that stuff out of it and then uh that way we've got all the parts we need and we're not buying a bunch of parts to build this project car and then uh so another thing that's kind of changed is as you know i gotta feed some cats over here as you know uh caitlin aka buck she was running a mini mod well due to all the issues that the motor was having with the 2.3 she really wasn't having much fun last year so uh we went ahead and last friday this is monday so last friday we sold the mini mod and uh we went and we're gonna go a different direction with her so yeah we're gonna go a different direction with her so the money that we sold the mini mod for she's decided she wants to go play in the bombers with papa shrek and them so we went and picked up a Grand Am. Turnkey runs great. I already got a cage lined out for it. So this is going to be another build. We're going to put uh, Caitlin, a.k.a. Buck, in the uh, bombers. And look, it's already got its own first dents before it's even hit the track. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we'll just push that out. Anyways... Like I said, we've got the cage already for it, and uh, we'll get it in it and get it ready for next year. The thing's only got 111,000 miles on it. I don't know. Radio don't work so well. There we go. We got it turned down. She's a runner. That's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to have to deal with a project type build on this deal working on suspension from a wrecked car or uh head gasket issues or anything like that so yeah we're just gonna build this one and she can run it and go have fun and there'll be a little learning curve for her because now see on the mini mod they only probably weigh 1500 pounds and had 10 inch slicks on it so now she's gonna go to twice as heavy of a car on regular street tires so yeah that ought to be interesting but so yeah anyways guys i just wanted to make a short video and uh keep you guys informed uh we're kind of gearing up for next year and we'll go at it all right you guys have a great monday afternoon uh we'll catch you on the next one Hey, like, comment, 
share, subscribe, hit the notifications. All right, guys, have a good one.